Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to solve question number 2 from the exercise 2.5. And this exercise is under CBSE standard 7 syllabus from the chapter fraction and decimals. So here we have to convert all this rupees and pesos to the decimal. That means we will convert them into the decimal form we will write before and after point some numbers. So first of all, what is the idea of rupees and paise? We all know that one rupee, one rupee equals to 100 paise, right? We know this. So whenever we are writing a paise, whenever we are writing paise, for example, two paise. So we will add 100 into its denominator because when we are writing into a decimal, we are actually convert them into rupees and paise in one single digit, in one single digit. So when we are writing paise, we will write those paise into that denominator, the 100 will be there. Like that we will convert them because 1 rupees equals to 100 paise. So before decimal, what all numbers will come, those will reflect the rupees. And after decimal, what all numbers will come, those number will reflect paise. For example, 15.37. So numbers before decimal. Those reflect rupees and after decimal whatever numbers are there, they are reflecting paise. Those are reflecting paise because 1 rupee equals to 100 paise. So when we are writing 100 into the denominator of all the paise, then it will come after the decimal. It will come after decimal. So before decimal, what all numbers are there that will tell us how many rupees are there. And after decimal, what all numbers will be there that will tell us how many passes are there. So let us solve all these numbers. So the first is 7 passes. Now when we are converting this passe into the decimal, actually we are converting it into the rupees. Actually we are converting it into rupees. So if they are saying that write this rupees and passe into decimal, that means Actually, we are converting all the numbers into the decimal and rupees and paise collectively we are converting into rupees. So here paise is there and when we are converting it into decimal. So we will write here 7 in decimal 100 will be there. So here 0 0.07 is there. Now when we are writing this, actually this paise we are converting into rupees. We are converting into rupees. So this paise we have converted into rupees and always we have to divide with 100. Because 1 rupee equals to 100 paise. So we will divide this with 100. Now second is 7 rupees and 7 paise. So 7 rupees is 7 and then plus 7 paise is there. So that 7 we have to add into that denominator 100. We have to add 100 into its denominator. So here we will write 7.07. 7.07 because this is paise and that we need to convert it into rupees. So 0 0.07 will be there. So when we will add this to 7 plus 0 0.07. So when we will add that 7 plus 0 0.07. Rest all zeros we will add. Here we will add decimal after the number. So we will get 7.07 .07 as rupees. So this is going to be our rupees. This is going to be the rupees. So what we have done here? 7 rupees is 7 only. Because they are already rupees. So we do not need to convert them. Here these are passes. Those we need to convert. Those we need to convert. So 7 in division. 100 is there. So 7.07 .07 rupees. So the third one is 77 rupees and 77 paise. So here we are going to convert paise to rupees. Rupees will remain rupees only. So we will write here 77. Then in addition we will write 77 that is paise and into the paise's denominator we will write 100 because that we are going to convert it into rupees. So now we will write here 77 and in addition this fraction's decimal form we will write. This fraction's decimal form we will write so that is going to be 0 0.77. From the left side we will count one number and two number because 
in the denominator two zeros are there so we will put here point so 0 0.77 now let us add these two numbers so it is 77 and 0 0.77 now what all places are empty we will put here point and we will add 0 we can add point after whole number and we can add zeros to fill the place and here also we can add 0 so that it will be easy for us to addition so here 77 will come 0.77 so this is going to be the whole rupees 77.77 .77 rupees now the next is 50 paise here there are no rupees so 50 in denominator 100 we will write because we are converting into decimal that means we are converting this term into rupees so here let us count two numbers because there are two zeros in the denominator so one and two so here we are going to write 0.50 rupees 0.50 rupees then the next is 235 paise here also there are no rupees so we will write 235 in denominator 100 because we are converting it into rupees now Two zeros are there. So from the left side we will count two numbers. One and two. So in between two and three we will write the point. So this many rupees we will get. Now actually into this you will see. Then we will get two rupees 35 paise. Two rupees 35 paise. So let us elaborate this and write that two rupees and 35 paise. So this is going to be the term that 2 rupees and 35 paise. Here 200 is there. 200 means 2 rupees. 200 paise means 2 rupees. Because 100 paise equals to 1 rupee. So 200 paise means 2 rupees. So 2 rupees and remaining this 35 paise is remained here. So 35 paise will remain here. 2 rupees 35 paise. This collectively known as rupees but... If you will bifurcate it, we will get 2 rupees 35 passing.